Saints, do you remember when Paul Begley put up some fake video saying that people tried to steal his Facebook page and they were trying to steal his, um, or try to impersonate him on Facebook and on YouTube and somebody exposed it as being fake? Look, I have no doubts in my mind that there are sickles out there that will try to impersonate people on Facebook or YouTube. But here I, may, here I am to tell you this, that Facebook and YouTube will not tolerate anything like that. Usually those accounts get terminated within um, 24 hours. You might say, no, no, that's not true. Well, my sister has a YouTube channel account as well. And somebody tried to impersonate her. And YouTube took it down within the hour. Okay, so, yeah, it's... It, it will get taken care of. They don't tolerate that because it's a liability for them, for one. For two, you also have to look out the fact that, yes, it's possible people will try to terminate you, uh, pers impersonate you on Facebook or on um, Twitter or any other social media, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Um, but if you report it, they take that seriously and they will take that account down within 24 hours, even less. Okay. So sometimes there are legitimate claims where that will happen. But then there are also claims that are fake. In other words, you will actually have people claim that their account was hacked. They will even go as far as making another Facebook profile or making another YouTube profile in their name and then claim that someone else made that profile and that um, their account was hacked. And that someone else made that profile and they're trying to impersonate them. Believe me, I've seen it happen. And it's very common with, with false prophet Jezebels. You see, false prophet Jezebels, when they're exposed and when they're being called out to do damage control. So that way they don't lose any type of subscribers. What they will do is they will make a fake claim. A, a fake claim saying that they're... YouTube ministry or YouTube name was compromised and and someone's trying to reach out to their followers and trying to scam them out of money trying to scam them out of money trying to ask the followers for money okay that's not true it's an attention getting tactic a Jezebel will do for one to play on your sympathy and try to gain more subscribers for two they will also try to do that like I said to get attention and do damage control do not fall for this. Reason why I'm telling you is because Miss Anita Fuentes is proclaiming the same thing. She's saying that um, somebody hacked her. I'm going to let you listen to it. Watch this. And this is an urgent uh, update for my precious friends and followers of Open Your Eyes People and EMOF Church. Uh, it has been brought to our attention that there are there is a person or persons who are involved in seeking to scam our followers and our listeners for money. Uh, we are uh, told that there is someone, uh, or someone's, again, more than one is, is what it seems like, uh, they're using the name Ana Fuentes, they have actually used my name, Anita Fuentes, but I think it's coming up from what I understand as Ana Fuentes, uh, but they are using our ministry name and even using our pictures to locate uh, our followers uh, uh, via private messaging on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And they're saying that they are me. They're asking for money. Uh, they, are, they have gone as far as actually providing a false passport, false driver's license, false bank account, and a false PayPal account. Please know this. That is not me. <laughs> now, I want to make sure we understand this because we... Uh, he now, here's what's a strange... Yesterday, she filed a police report on this gentleman by the name of Ryan, who is doing excellent work exposing her. And if he's watching, he doesn't, I don't think he has anything to worry about, because it's just a police report. And he can contest that police report, if anything. You know, if she's filing a police report, Ryan, if you're watching, and it's a false police report, don't you know that she can get in trouble for that? There have been people that have gotten arrested for falsely filing a police report against another person. Just so you know. 
So in case she does say she's going to sue you or whatever, and you know it's not true, that you never threatened her, and you have the proof to back it up, that's a false police report. Just so you know. It's illegal in California, too. My brothers live there, I'm just saying. And um, I'm not a lawyer, but I looked up the law of California for that for regarding specifically police reports. And it is against the law in California, just like it is in my state, maybe even yours. It's like that in most states, that if, if a false police report is filed, that person can get arrested. In other words, you can file charges against her. So, she filed a police report on him yesterday. That's what's strange. Saying, right on her Facebook, she put this man on blast. She said that uh, he was threatening her and he was harassing her when the man was exposing her. Okay? She also says something about putting her address on his ad, putting her address on YouTube. Well, she puts her address on her website and she puts it on YouTube too. So her address is not like it's something unknown. She puts her address, she had her physical address on her description box on her videos. Okay? And she had her physical address in the one Rancho Cucamongo, California. She had it on her videos and she had it in her description box if you wanted to mail her a check. She had her street she had her street address on there. So she's gonna sit there and call out people saying that they sent out her they were they were revealing her address on YouTube. Then she needs to call herself out too because when she did her videos in the description box, she had her physical address on there. And I remember, and I'm not the only one that remembers that. Since then, she's taken her address down. Now, then, she files a police report against him yesterday. Then today, she comes up with this video. So yesterday, she tried to play on you people's sympathy by saying, by putting that man on blast in front of everybody, by filing a, a police report saying she threatened him. And I highly doubt he did that. I don't know him, but he doesn't seem like the type to threaten a person. But again, I don't know him, but he doesn't seem like the type to threaten a person. What does he have to gain? The man is a single father. You know, if he threatens a person, he could run the risk of being arrested. Then what's going to happen to his little girl? So it doesn't make sense or add up that he would threaten somebody else knowing he's got a kid to think about. So that should give you some feedback that this woman is a bold-faced liar and evil at that. So, um, first, that pastor attacks the kid, and now she's trying to attack the father because she's exposed and she knows it. So then, the next day, she decides to put out a video saying that somebody, quote-unquote, is impersonating her, claiming to be Anne Fuentes, or whatever, trying to impersonate her, even her ministry, trying to ask for money, pretending to be her. You know, I'm just going to speculate here. What if she's trying to frame this guy? I mean... Yesterday, she puts out a police report saying he's threatening her and all that. What if she concocted this to try to frame him? To try to blame him and say that he's the one that is coming out with a fake YouTube channel against her? I'm not, I'm, I'm stating just an opinion. I'm only speculating. It's just too coincidental that yesterday she filed a police report on him and then today she's claiming she's scammed. Let's listen to the rest of this lie. Eyes, people, we are currently uh, we are raising funds for a new studio broadcasting location, and we have a GoFundMe page. Do you see what just happened here? If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, first she tells you people that somebody's impersonating her YouTube channel, right? Which is a way to play on your sympathy, and she spent. At least a minute. This video is 3 minutes 32 seconds long. She spent at least a minute and 23 seconds telling you people that she was so-called exposed. I mean, not exposed. That she was, um, that somebody's impersonating her. YouTube channel. Ministry or whatever. That's what she's saying. Then she's saying, um, she spends a minute and 32 seconds talking about that. To play on your sympathies to play on your heart, to tug at your heart, so you can feel sorry for her, okay, and say, oh, I'm sorry, Anita, that you're going through that, is there anything I can do, 
Then she transitions into begging for money for her fake studio and her fake uh, church. So now that she's got you reeled in, you know, with her, her lie about being scammed, because I can tell this is a bullface lie, okay? I can see right through her. And if you fall for this, you're a fool. So she plays on your heart, not all of you, but some of you, whoever falls for this, and she plays on your sympathy. Then she's got you all buttered up, feeling sorry for her and all that. Then she decides to go in for the kill. She starts begging for money. Now that she's got your heart all feeling sorry for her, and she's got you all buttered up, she's got you sold on this lie that she was scammed, then she proceeds to beg for money. Okay? Beg for money, meaning she's going to ask for donations. See, what doesn't add up here is that if your account is hacked, wouldn't you be upset? Wouldn't, wouldn't the safety and security of your family be the first thing on your mind? Because, yeah, if your account is hacked on YouTube and you have your pictures and stuff like that and your kids on there, don't you want to make sure your family's safe? But she doesn't think about her family's safety and security. She's thinking about money. Watch this. We only have one GoFundMe page, and you can get the link on our website, www.openyoureyespeople.com. She spends the remaining two minutes of the video talking about donations. Begging for money. Watch this. If you have donated on our website, that is fine. That is that is all safe and secure. But please note, I or anyone else from this ministry will never contact you uh, via personal private messaging on any of our social media channels. We have never done that, and we will never do that. She's a liar. She just said on her prior videos, okay, if she doesn't contact people via their private messaging or emails, then how did she, how does she, she, she says that her ministry gets emails from people, from subscribers, and then she has these broadcasts that she talks about visions and dreams, and she mentions in there that she had an email from a subscriber, right, with a vision and dream. So doesn't that mean that she was obviously corresponding with the person via email, which is a private messaging format? Doesn't that mean that she corresponds with her, her um, so-called followers via email? So she's caught in a lie. She just said that she never, ever privates message anyone. That's a lie. In fact, I know subscribers that she sent them pretty nasty emails via private message when they just asked the question. We absolutely will never provide a driver's license, a passport, a bank account number, anything like that to prove that they are me. Unfortunately, I have received reports that there have been a couple of people that have given into these scam artists. Um, She's trying to sit there and say that you people are that whoever was scammed her. Now, like I said, she spends the last couple of minutes talking about the donations. She drops back and forth every now into the scam thing, but then she goes back to talking about donations. Look, it's no coincidence to me. She files a police report on this man yesterday. Then she comes out with this fake scam alert to play on the hearts and sympathy of people so she can gain subscribers, so she can do damage control because she knows she's exposed, and so she could get still more money because it is no coincidence that she's begging for money even in this scam alert um, video that she put up. There's no coincidence there. And there's no coincidence, like I said, when she filed a police report on this gentleman yesterday that now she's coming out saying that a couple of people are... are trying to scam others. She's accusing them of scamming by, by, by impersonating her. I won't be surprised if she's trying to frame this Ryan person. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm only giving my opinion. It's just too coincidental that she makes a video filing a police report on him or she puts him out on blast and she puts it up on YouTube too. Way, miss, way to go, Miss Fuentes, to try to destroy this guy's reputation when he was exposing you for the fraud you are. And then she... uh comes out with this. Reporting them as they're coming in. <clears throat> we have had to report several things uh, that have been of uh, a, an, an urgent alarm that have been brought to our attention in, 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 the, in the recent days. And this is just an add-on. So please, just a heads up, um, do not uh, give to anyone who claims to be me and they are sending you a private message and they are providing false documentation. That is She's a liar.
You guys, I can see right through this. She is not being scammed. This is just a tactic. Damage control. So, she gains more subscribers. That's what Jezebel does. And she gains more views. And she gets more money. Okay, like I said, if you're compromised, if you feel compromised like this, wouldn't your family safety be first? Why would you talk about beg? Why would you talk about money? Why would you beg for money? You know, take test the spirits, ladies and gentlemen.